Just keep going slow. Seven's coming up, right? Yeah. Come on, the six is over. Come on. Just keep going forward. It's, it's now or never. Don't give him anything. Any time. Go forward. Kessler's corner begging their man to go forward. Enzo Calzaghi praising his son, saying you boxed his ass off. Calzaghi threw 105 punches in the seventh round and begins to set up a working margin on Harold Letterman's scorecard. We're into the eighth. Calzaghi beating Kessler to the punch with his jab. Been a pattern for most of the last few rounds. But Kess, Kess is more aggressive this round. He's actually leading the, leading the attack this round here. That was a big of, left yeah. hook by Michael Kessler. Yeah. Instead of leading the way the counter punches he's been doing most of them, he's actually aggressively going after Calzaghi this round. But dropping his hands and allowing Calzaghi to land upstairs. Good straight right hand inside yeah. by Kessler. Kess, Kess is punching with a lot of authority right now this round. Again the left hook from Kessler. He's trying to make it into more of a fight. Well, he's fighting right now, man. Everything he's punching is a full power. Both guys are throwing bombs, yeah, and they're right. both good punches. Kessler's a better puncher, though. Yes. And he's He's doing exactly what he has to do because he was systematically losing the fight the way it was going. So I think he's coming out and out and let it all hang out one way out of Kessler needed to change. He needed to do something extra. And he started to do it, and Calzaghi has responded. And Calzaghi walked into a left hook as he was responding, but walked through the left hook and kept coming. Kessler spent a lot of energy in the first part of this round, and now he may have to pay for that because he's getting a little tired. And Calzaghi, as always, is going to step up the pace right now, realizing that he may have lost the round so far. Yep, but you know, when you look at the uppercuts earlier, several right crosses and the left hooks in the last couple of rounds, Calzaghi's chin has been very impressive. Both guys, I've been impressed with all around their skill, the, 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 the determination, the conditioning, everything. Calzaghi's answer is to mix in body shots now. Two good left hands to the body. Now he comes back upstairs. Here comes Galzaki. Kessler's hurt. And Ortega chooses this moment to warn Galzaki for holding. The crowd doesn't like that. That's a break for Nico Kessler. But Galzaki comes right back. Takes a left hook for his trouble. And Ka Kessler still went and standing up to punch. He's not trying to play it safe. Once again, it's a fight, not a boxing match. What a fight. Emmanuel Stewart is standing up, just like everyone in the crowd. It's the only right thing, you have to fight him. Attack, attack, attack. You can't afford anything else. This is the ninth round. Don't go raggedy, right? Don't go raggedy, all right? Right, right, combination. Boom, boom, boom. Here you see the body shot that I believe Kessler was hurt with, which was a right hand, right shot to the body, right there. I think that's what hurt him right there. And after it was, it was a, something happened, and the referee gave him a warning, but I think it gave Kessler a break that he needed. Some people thought that Mikkel Kessler's well-known power, his clear punching power, would diminish Joe Calzaghi's punch count. It hasn't happened. Calzaghi's had at least two rounds in which he's thrown more than 100 punches. He's letting his hands go just as he always does. Chopping away there. And Calzaghi's punching with more authority. Not just a punch count, but it's a power punches. Cutting right hand by Kessler. Particularly hard to do against an accurate counter puncher with power like Kessler. 
in Calzaghi, win or lose, you are looking at a special fighter. But both of these guys are special. You know, Kessler has never been in this type of a situation, but still, he's still punching with full power and desperation, too. Kessler trying to go to the body with his long right hand. Calzaghi has held the edge in body punching, largely because he's focused more there and thrown more. Stop Calzaghi Barrage. And if stamina becomes a factor down the stretch, the body punching figures in. Kessler lands a stiff left. Yeah, Calzaghi Ke comes back with a combination. Ke Kessler seems to be a little bit on the tired side, but he's still punching very hard and can never relax with him because he can turn the fight around with one solid blow still. Well, he's had a lot of big moments. Just not enough of them. It's one of the oldest dictums in sports. On the road, you've got to play to win. Kessler's on the road here. He's got to let more of it hang out and play to win. Throughout his entire career, what Kessler does has been enough to win. He hasn't been forced into a second or third year yet. And here he's being forced into it. And I think he's trying to do it. But Calzaghi continues to elevate as Kessler picks up the pace. Calzaghi is very, very special. I'm just looking at the things he's doing, how he's made his adjustments. Look at the hand speed. Everything in the book. And, and he's fighting with the same tempo and, and accuracy and speed that he did in the first round. He's willing to take risks over and over to let his hands go. Immediately following our telecast, stay tuned for the premiere of Countdown to Cota Mosley. Our behind-the-scenes look at both fighters as they prepare for their welterweight showdown one week from tonight in Madison Square Garden, live on pay-per-view. What a great, great fight that could be. You can do better, Joe, okay? Bam, 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 bam. Use your rallies to work with score points. Use your rally. When he gets forward, use your right and the left. Go left and use the right. Which round is this? This is the 10th. So. There we see body punches again, which I would have never expected that Cal Zagger would be more effective in a fight with body punches than instead of with his jabs and his regular hits punches. Just waiting forward, trying to hit anything he can. In the last two rounds, Kalzaki has outlanded Kessler by CompuBox count 50 to 32. Harold, how do you have it coming to the 10? I, I get you seven rounds to two. 88, 83, Joe Kalzaki. Jim, Mikhail Kessler's got to do something. He's got to go to plan B or he's going to lose this fight. Joe Kalzaki just giving him a boxing lesson. Jam, jam, straight left. Jam, jam, straight left. Over and over and over again. By the way, Mike Ortega really took away Joe Calzaghe's advantage in the eighth round. He had, he had Kessler hurt, and Ortega yanked him off to warn him about a shot behind the head. He can't do that. If a guy's got the other guy hurt, don't jump in. You know, you can warn him, but don't jump in. Eight to, uh, eight to two, Joe Calzaghe. Emmanuel, every viewer can see the swelling above Kessler's left eye from Calzaghe's right hand but they're not using the end swell between rounds on that left eye. Yeah, I, I'm surprised, too, but I really don't think they're even prepared. This is new territory for them. I mean, Cal has had a lot of tough fights, injuries and whatnot. I don't think that Kessler's camp was just prepared for this type of a war. They have not had the experience in this situation. As they pointed out in our meeting yesterday, Kessler's never been hurt in a fight. Maybe they didn't think it was possible. What a trade! What a war they've got in round 10 now. But Calzaghe looks cool as a cucumber yeah. amid the fight. Yes, he has. It seems like he's more comfortable in this situation than Kessler. 
Hustler is into a desperation mode of throwing enormous right hand counter punches, hoping to catch Calzaghe with a home run punch. Now Calzaghe is content to just keep pressing me tonight because definitely these are the two 